and welcome to the Edge of Chaos. I am Chaos, your host, and we have a new kitty. Her name is Midnight. This is the first day that she's been out of the room, and she's been doing good with the doggie. Today is March 21st, and we are playing Legend of Zelda. The kitty wanted attention, so, of course. And the dog is going to go chase the cat. They do get along rather well. They're just... It is still adjusting. We kept them separate for a few days. And... This morning, we spent in the room with the dog and the cats. And they got along okay when the cats didn't want the dog to try to love on them. They they did the little swatty thing and missed. Which is all good. It, they, they did well. You want back up? Come on. This is your spot. Come on, come on, pop up. Ren, come on. She's been feeling just ever so slightly neglected. Because there's new animals. But she's she's been doing good. She's just... Change is sometimes hard on animals. That's why we put them in separate rooms to start them. And they're all doing good. Okay, uh... One... Oh, I see what I gotta do. We gotta... We gotta take... I gotta climb to take... Gotta take... Oh. Nope, not that one up there. Gosh darn it. You know what? Can I shoot that apple? <laughs> my feet are very ticklish and the cat just decided to walk under my foot. So. Very nice. I found a Korok. That's not what we're doing for most of the episode, but I just... Wow, the apple is way down there. Let's see, what does he do? Does he go after the apple? He eats the apple. Interesting. I think this is luminous stone. Yes, this is luminous stone. This is Luminous Stone. Oh. I thought I was using my Master Sword. My bad. Um, what was I doing? This. Sneak stuff. Am I in full sneak gear? I'm in full sneak gear. Let's put everything away. It is starting to thunderstorm. I wonder if the fairies will stay if it is currently thunderstorming. Or if the fairies are even there right now. We will find out. I have absolutely no fear of my dog trying to hurt the cats. Because the cats are, um, well, not the cats, the, I have seen the dog try to befriend a hornworm. Those little green things they feed to lizards. <coughs> well, they're not little for worms, but I'll, I'll show a picture of it. That thing. That thing. She found one in our backyard and immediately tried to friend it. Now, her version of friending it was 
gently picking it up and tossing it in the air. I shit you not. <laughs> she thought the best way to play with it was to pick it up and throw it in the air. I had to rescue that one. Uh, she also found a lame bunny in the backyard that she insisted could be saved, so we tried. That did not turn out as happy. The, the bunny wasn't going to make it anyway, but efforts were made. That was mostly our roommates who gave the efforts to that. Um... They're no, they no longer live with us, and it's the same roommates that I did the channel for. And she has a pretty decent channel, but... We kind of had a parting of the ways, so... These things happen. Oh, I was going to go to Kiltzer first. Oh well. It's all good. Um. Oh wait, no. I go to Kiltzer after the episode. I, I had done it. Uh, an entire episode already. I, I did my episodes for the week yesterday, and... Oh, crap. Oh, I'll do it later. It's fine. Uh, you actually have to land on, well, not land, uh, you have to go through each flower before the next one shows up. And if you do not go through the flower, the next one will not show up, and you could go all the way to the end point, nothing will happen. You have to go to each flower and say, I see you. Ooh, I got some gourmet meat out of that. On to the next one. No gourmet, but that's fine. Uh, oh, here's the next one. They sometimes are a little hidden just because how these things work. Now we're out of the thunderstorm range, so we can go... Oh, there... Wait, is that the last one? How is that not the last one? There's the last one. And I love how this Korok takes you to a shrine quest. And there's another Korok over here. You have to get... Use Magnesis. Pull it down. And then... Let's see. Yeah, pull close. And then it's gonna go right into this space here. There we go. Perfection. Okay, so we did that. Now, that ball that we saw just a minute ago, we are going to pick that up. Eh. 
Oh, pick the hardy radish up. Alright, we are going to pick up this little ball. Oh, crap. Okay, we picked up all the frogs. Okay. Now, to make our job easier, we going to we are going to be switching back and forth amongst masks. We're going to start with this one. And this is a very interesting thing about these masks. Like the Lionel is the only one that you cannot do this with, and it is highly recommended you don't try with the Lionel. Like, you can run near the Lionel with it, but you can't go what we're about to do. Oh, why are... I love my cat. Like this. They see nothing wrong right now. It's a little disconcerting. And, like, when am I going to get caught? But, yeah, they'll just let you. They will not attack you if you have the Moblin mask on. And, like I showed, they, they will come all the way up to you, sniff at you, get the Moblin mask on. They see you as a Moblin. Oh, crap. Nice. Very nicely done. You do have to watch the ball though cuz depending on where you put the ball down, it will try it will roll away from you. Um my next mask I do believe is the Bokoblin. I don't know why I have such a hard time with that word, but I really do. It is absolute insanity because I shouldn't have a problem with that word. My cat wants to die. See, they see me. My cat got behind the TV and tried knocking my light over. Well, not trying. Knocked my light over. But it's in... It's behind the TV, so it just knocked it into the TV. Like these guys, they have not a worry in the world towards me. It does help when you're doing, when you're in stealth gear. I love how run out of energy still means blow up. Oh. You two are going to try my patience today. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, yeah, I need to put this down. And we're gonna... No! Where do your heads go? Oh, that one over there. Oh, yay. I mean, I get it, kitty, first day out of the room, but can we not try to demolish? Oh, we miss, we miss the... Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, 
these guys will see me. They'll notice me as friend. See? And then they will go back into the water, I think. If they go back in the water, it's actually kind of funny because they will actually drown themselves. Is this side? I think this side is pretty safe. I think I can get them. I'm just gonna set this up here where it will be nice and safe. No rolling. Let's see. Can I get you guys to follow me into the water? Now that there are no more of those. Uh. No. No. You're not allowed up there. <sighs> oh, goodness. I think if I just get far enough away from them, they'll stop. I hope. I love my cat. I adore my cat. <laughs> Not for the cat. She's on the table. <laughs> And it's fine, because that's a table that I don't eat on. We're teaching them not to be on tables that we eat off of. Like, this is some of the craziest stuff. We don't want to get too close to the Lizalfo. Because he will not recognize. Oh, whoops. Oh, goodness. Wait. Will you still attack? Oh, no. They will not attack me. Oh, yes, they will. Okay. I have crap. Um, yep, pick it up. Goodness, I'm gonna have to fight them now. I want to fight them. There we go. Wait, did we get it? I think we got it. Wait, why are you trying to attack me now? Crap. Pick up. I'm just gonna run from him and hope that he leaves me alone. This did not happen last time, but I also did it during... Daytime hours. Okay, so he's leaving me alone. I guess you start attacking monsters and they decide you're an enemy. Good to know. Uh, oh, hi, Papa. Who's my good girl? Uh, Midnight and... Lily are much easier to handle than Artemis with her 
Artemis was very much Artemis's version of playing is no I don't want to but let me chase you after I'm a genius that that was a genius move that was done completely on purpose and I knew I was too close and I'm going with all of that. <sighs> there we go. For the cats, I was told both of them were two. I don't think Midnight is even a year yet. We're going to get her to the vet and get her checked out. But I don't think she's even a year. Lily, I'd buy a year and a half, two years. She's a lot calmer. I woke up last night to midnight having toppled over a set of books that was in the room they were in. Around midnight. And I think she did it just to do it. Because crazy cats, you know. I very much enjoy the kitties. They're a lot of fun. I, and this one will probably take me into the next episode before I actually finish it. We are going to do the dragon shrines. We've already done the one in the Fountain of Wisdom. We need to do the Fountain of Power and the Fountain of Courage. Where is the rock I need? You cannot give me one of these and then not give the rock. That's not nice. Maybe the rock's just up there and I gotta carry it down. They do that sometimes. Where's the rock? Nice. I mean, this isn't the rock that I need, but this will probably give me another core rock. Wrong button. Very nice. And a Korok. Oh, but it did give me what I needed. It so gave me what I needed. That is awesome. It just didn't look like it at first. Um, they'll leave me alone if I have this on. It's so crazy how that works. We go. We want to come down here. Before we come down here, we're just going to drop that real quick. They really shame them into not wanting to deal with me. And we're going to drop a rock. 
Yay! Yes, I found you. Oh. Alright, now we're gonna continue on. I'm pretty sure there was an easier rock to find, but that's what we got. And even if there wasn't, it's still... Whatever. Uh, we're going to be running through a thunderstorm, so... Change gear. Gear is good. That is a quest right there. You have to go up the mountain as fast as you can, and you have to collect like a hundred rupees. And your time to do it. I, I have done it before, and I will probably do it before I. You know what? Let's do that now. <laughs> I'll probably do that before- you know what? We're doing it now. Oh. But what we're doing slightly before that is we are making sure we have our proper gear. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. And that is how that is done. <laughs> Twelve arrows. Well, technically thirty-six. And I'm not sure if all of them hit or not. Okay, so we come into here. That shrine is so annoying. The, the shrine noise is so obnoxious. Hey, dude. Okay, so I guess I gotta talk to him. Wait, who do I gotta talk to? Ah, there we go. Go for it. Uh -huh. 
Wow, the gut check challenge. There's the cat again. Okay. So let's get this done. And they give you three minutes, so I mean, it's not like it's that difficult. Oh, whoops. It is when you don't remember to rest. We're already up to 36. Oh look, there's some good red rupees right there. Wow. So, now I can uh, enter the shrine. And it will make it easier to get back to the dragon next time. This is actually the shrine they suggest you get to the dra the dragon that we're going to. My inventory is full. I didn't want that. A great frost blade. And we're done the shrine. Uh, if Lily ever decides that she wants to be social, I'll show her on here, but Midnight is a social little thing who will be all over the place. That's why I showed her this at the beginning of the show. Um, Lily may not ever actually make an appearance. She seems a lot more reserved. We'll find out. We've, like I said, we haven't had her for that long. Okay, so I want to thank you for coming and watching the show today. I had a lot of fun playing. I hope you had a lot of fun watching. I do have a Patreon. It's in my description as well as in my About section. I will be playing The Outer Worlds on Thursday, and I'll be picking Zelda back up on Saturday. Feel free to come check those out. And I will see you next time. Stay chaotic out there.